Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Breakfast with Bulls, where we're going to go over the top 12 most popular stocks that everybody has been talking about. And I'm going to go over an exact analysis on each one of these, as I do believe they all have the possibility of breaking out going into the next month. Um, these are very popular stocks. They have a ton of volume. And I'm going to go over an exact analysis on each one of these into exactly which indicators we are going to be looking out for on these breakouts and exactly which alerts I will be setting for each one of these. So that way we don't miss out on them. So again, um, I do appreciate all of you guys been showing me in the comment section as always much love to you guys. God bless you guys. Um, and if you guys have not subscribed, we do go all out Monday through Friday on entries and breakouts. So definitely subscribe if you guys want to see more entries and breakouts and alerts that we do set for every stock so that way you guys do not miss out on them. Um, and again, I do appreciate all you guys that do support the channel. Honestly, you guys have been amazing and um, gosh, I, I appreciate you guys very much. So um, I'm going to go over the first one here is NNDM. Each one of these that we're going to be going over is NNDM, PLTR, BNGO, CTRM, SCNS. SCNS is one of the ones that um, a ton of people have been asking about in the comments, especially. Um, and SOS, um, NAKD, OCGN, GSAT, SNDL, BTX I wanted to go over. Um, it doesn't exactly look very nice going into after hours, but it did um, have a nice spike into around 77 range. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to play into that one. And Doge um, has had a nice pop going into after hours yesterday as well. And we could possibly see a continuation on Doge. I'm going to show you guys that one as well. Um, but I'm going to go over these real quick. So again, um, I hope I don't go too quick for you guys. But on NNDM, um, there's a very key resistance we're going to be trying to break out of. I'm going to show you guys our Fibonacci lines here so I can draw this for you guys so you guys can see exactly what resistance we're trying to break out of. Now we have 891 that we did get rejected um, a couple times. So you can see we got rejected right here. Um, we got rejected a couple times here. And then we did also have a sell off at this point. Um, we also had a consolidation at this very same point right here. So you can see that this is a very key resistance. Um, it looks like we did get rejected um, on Friday and we could possibly see another um, rejection and possibly a sell off coming in um, into this one. It looks like we do have buy volume that did start to come in. Um, we do have an alert set right above our previous volume point right here. So that way, if it does reach this volume point, um, we could have more of a confirmation on a possible breakout above um, our resistance that we did have with this volume. So um, we do have our volume alert set. That is what I will be um, alerting myself on if it does break out. So that way we do get more confirmation on this momentum. Um, but again, NNDM will uh, definitely on the watch. I do believe that NNDM will have its moments and time and they will have a huge run up at some point in time. But um, as far as entering into this one, we still see the 50 MA above the 20. Um, the 20 has not crossed the 50 at that point. And um, in my opinion, we are going to definitely stay out of this one till the play does come to us and give us more momentum on this play. Um, but PLTR, I did want to go over as well. Now PLTR um, does have earnings coming up. Um, we do see our um, descending way. I mean, our uh, bull flag that we did create and I did extend it over and you can see we did get rejected multiple times here. And it looks like we did break out of our descending wedge here. And it looks like we are consolidating. We could see this 20 MA um, cross above the 50 going into this week. And I will be watching out for that going into this week as earnings is coming up. Um, and in my opinion, like I said um, before, I do have our volume alert set. So that way, if we do break above our previous volume point at this point right here, then we could see a potential breakout going into um, this 70 or $27 and 29 cent resistance that we're trying to break out of. Um, we do have another resistance here at 2519. That's very key. Um, usually when it breaks 2519, it likes to overextend. And in my opinion, next time it does hit 2519, it probably will run as long as this 20 MA does cross above the 50, which it looks like um, we are going to get that potential as it is getting very close and very tight here. We could see that potential coming out. And again, uh, we would be wanting that volume to give us that type of movement, in my opinion, with the 20 MA above the 50. So PLTR will be on the watch as well. Um, like I said, we do have our alert set on the volume here. And um, the same goes for NNDM. We had the volume alert on that one. Now, BNGO, I wanted to go over this one. Another one that's very like, uh, very much like NNDM that, um, in my opinion, they will have their moment in time when they do run. But I am going to set in a volume alert here so you can see exactly where we're going to be setting this one now. Um, this is how you go to volume alert. You go to volume. You go to add alert right here. Uh, this is on trading view, by the way. I'm going to add this real quick so you guys can see exactly what we're doing here. So. Um, we are going to grab this line right here, bring it right above to our previous volume points where we saw back here. So that way, um, if we do get any volume at this point, again, we do still see a little uh, buy volume coming in. We do see some buy volume coming in, but we do see overall the 50 still over the 20. We could see a sell off coming in. Um, it's even dropping below the 20 MA. So we may even see another dip coming down to our previous um, consolidated point around $3, which would be pretty bad. But um, we do have another consolidated point we could turn around on um, around 487. So we'll see if what happens here. We'll definitely wait for that 20 minute across above the 50, of course. But we also will have our volume alert here. So that way, if anything does happen, then it will give us an alert. So that way we don't miss out on it. Also, I'm going to go over the MACD. I did set a MACD alert as well. 
We saw the buy volume coming in. We did not break above our previous buy, uh, buy pressure point. So our buy pressure looks like it is decreasing. It looks like we are gonna have some sell pressure coming in on the next uh, few days or so. And we may even see it turn around. We are gonna be looking for a small amount of sell pressure coming in and then those white shady lines to reverse and give us a, um, a buy, buy pressure momentum, hopefully, and break above our previous buy pressure point. That is what we will be looking out for on BNGO. Until then, in my opinion, we may see more consolidation and a sell off on BNGO. Um, but again, CTRM, I wanted to go over CTRM, in my opinion, um, is a little bit better consolidated. Um, you can see that it is pretty flat. It looks like it wants to make a move up or down. Um, but however, you can see that we do see a decrease in sell pressure, which is great. We can see that buy pressure is starting to increase here. Um, we could see a continuation on that. Now, these white shaded lines are coming in just like on BNGO, and we could see another um, buy, uh, sell pressure coming in. So we're going to look for a shorter amount of sell pressure than we see here. And then possibly those white shaded lines on the sell pressure to come and reverse and hopefully give us more buy pressure like we're looking for. Um, in my opinion, we will see that possibly happen. But until then, um, we will set our buy pressure point right above our previous buy pressure points. So that way, if anything does happen and it does break out, we will have an alert set. So again, um, CTRM, in my opinion, just like BNGO and NNDM, um, they're very, very volatile. Um, we saw what happened with OCGN, which OCGN did get COVID news. So that did help them obviously a lot. But um, we do see a lot of these plays very similarly where they were very volatile. Some of the best gainers going into last year that we are waiting to see if they will break out sometime soon. And those are the alerts I will be setting because, because in my opinion, if they do break out, then they definitely will break these alerts. Now, SENS. A lot of people have been asking about SENS in the comment section. I want to go over this one especially. Now, um, it's very uh, volatile, just very similar to CTRM, NNDM, BNGO, and um, I think in my opinion, we could possibly see this one break out. Now we do see the consolidation coming in. Um, we do have very little volume right here. You can see we also do see um, like sell pressure getting consolidated here. We can see a decrease in buy pressure. We can see the white shaded lines coming in almost like it's gonna create more sell pressure. Um, so right now in SENS, SN, 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 I would be waiting for a better uh, entry in my opinion. We probably will hit down here at 121. It looks like at our previous um, um, rejection point and also our previous breakout point. So. Um, this is a very key resistance, in my opinion, at 121. And if it does come down, we might see more consolidation at 121. And we may even see a nice play on that, as we did see when it did sell off here um, at around 192. And then it came up all the way to around $3 on a huge bounce play. In my opinion, it may do the same thing when it comes down to around 121. And we will be watching out for those bullish divergence on the RSI on that play um, for a nice reversal play. But again, SCNS, in my opinion, at this point in time, it looks like we do need to break above um, a very key resistance at 270. Um, if we can't break over 270, in my opinion, our previous sell-off point and um, our very our, our most volume traded um, point that we did have um, within our, our chart here. So you can see the uh, VPVR is showing us the most amount of volume that was traded within this period in time. And this is a very key resistance where we did start to sell off and you can see the huge sell-off right at that point when it did drop below it. So again, um, 27, uh, 269, in my opinion, would be a very key resistance that we would like to break out of. So we will have an alert here um, and also, I will not set a volume or a MACD alert on this one, in my opinion, because um, if it does break over 269, in my opinion, I'll be trading at that point. Um, I don't want to trade any earlier than that unless it does have a bounce play at around 121. So again, SCNS, in my opinion, will stay on the watch. I mean, it's very volatile. We could see another move up going into this one as well. Um, SOS, I want to go over as well. This is another very um, hyped play that a lot of people have been waiting for. I know a lot of people are holding this one. A lot of people have been asking about this one. Um, they are consolidating, it looks like, right on our previous breakout point you can see right here. So I'm sorry about all the lines on this one, but um, we do see consolidation right here. Um, and then we are consolidating exactly at that point. Um, and it looks like we do have very little volume coming in. We do need more volume, um, probably as much as we do see when we did break out and we did get rejected. So we're gonna need to see more volume like we do here. Um, if we can't see more volume like we do here, in my opinion, then we may just continue on selling off, um, in my opinion, especially if Bitcoin um, does not stay over 50k, which it has been. It actually had a nice bounce, so we may even see um, volume coming in on SOS, which we will be on the lookout for. But however, like I said, even um, the way that Bitcoin has been moving, we've seen very weak movement by SOS um, recently. So in my opinion, we will keep SOS on the watch. We are going to be trying to break out of a very key resistance here at 622. You can see we broke out, we got rejected at that point, and that is a very key resistance that we're going to be having to break on SOS to take us back to new highs like we're hoping, like we're hoping for um, one day. So again, SOS will always be on the watch. We do have um, our alert set at that resistance at 622. So that way, if it does break out, like I said, we won't miss out on that one. Um, I'm going to go over NAKD. NAKD has been having a ton of volume coming in. 
Um, this one has been consolidated. You can see we are consolidating pretty nicely. It looks like we have a little bit of sell off and then we had a little bounce and we may even see a breakout. We are trying to break out of a very key resistance at 98 cents. Um, this is where we previously broke out. Um, this is a very key resistance. If we can't break over 98 cents and a dollar being a very key resistance for all these penny stocks as well is very important. So in my opinion, unless it broke over a dollar, um, it would be more of a safe play. But um, if we do see a ton of volume coming in on Monday, in my opinion, we may even see a huge breakout. Now we do have our MACD here and I'm going to set an alert on our buy pressure. So you can see we had that huge run up, right? And then we had a little bit of a sell off and then we had a bounce. Now we're going to be looking for more buy pressure than we saw previously. So we can see that breakout that we're looking for. So I'm going to set that alert right above um, our buy pressure point here. So that way, again, if we do break above it, then we will see that breakout and we'll be alerted so that we can go straight to the stock and make that trade. Um, and again, this none of this is a recommendation. Of course, this is only what I do and OCGN. I'm going to go over right here so you can see that um, we do have consolidation. We do see that um, we are um, starting to break out. We almost tried to break new highs towards the end of the day on Friday, and it looks like we did get rejected. We're going to see if we can break over this very key resistance here at 4.0. Um, I believe it was 4.05, but around 4.08, we do have a very key resistance, it looks like. And um, we did get rejected here previously. So again, you can see this rejection at the same point. Um, we are going to try to break above um, 14.08, in my opinion. If we can break over 14.08, um, and break into the $15 range, we could see a huge parabolic play. I think OCGN out of all these plays has the more likely chance of breaking out um, into this week. So I definitely will have OCGN on the watch. Um, they do have um, amazing COVID news. If you guys should definitely look into that, but um, OCGN, it's going to be a monster one day possibly. So definitely keep your eyes on OCGN. GSAT, I wanted to go over. This one had a nice run for the last couple of days. Um, we do see a decrease in volume um, towards the end of um, the day on Friday, but however, we did have a nice run the last couple of days. And in my opinion, if we can break over this key resistance here, I'm um, at 140, we got rejected and where we previously sold off. Um, if we can consolidate and we can get this 20 MA to come above the 50, it looks like we are curling up. So we may have that chance to happen. Um, if we can break over 140 and hold above it and break out of it and not get wicked down like we saw here and we got rejected and we came back down. So like I said, if we can break over 140, um, with a solid candle and hold above it and then break out from there, then it would be a nice solid play in my opinion for GSAT. Um, again, they do have a lot of volume, but however, we see a decrease in sell pressure and a decrease in volume towards the end of the day on Friday. So we are gonna be looking out for that breakout at 140. I will be setting my alert at 140. So that way, if it does break above it, we will be looking for the stock on the volume and make sure that we do have confirmation on that breakout. Now, again, GSAT, very volatile, definitely on the watch, SNDL. Um, uh, this is a cannabis play, of course. This is something that we did talk about back around uh, 48 cents multiple times, and it did break out around 79. Um, and we did say that it was going to continue to break out as they are debt free. They mentioned a couple months ago. Um, but also, we are waiting for some cannabis news. It looks like we have been consolidating and selling off. Um, we may even see more of a sell off we do, if we don't get news anytime soon, as we do see the buy pressure decreasing here um, on the MACD. And we can also see that the sell pressure is also decreasing. So, overall, it looks like we are consolidating. Um, we're just selling off, you know, coming back, just selling off, coming back, waiting for news. And if we don't get any news for a very long time, in my opinion, we may even see a huge sell off like we saw previously and consolidate back where we were around 48 cents. So we are going to make sure we do um, get better consolidation on this one. We want to ultimately break over a dollar on this one. So that way we can hold over a dollar and break above that and go into um, the $4 range where we were previously. So again, um, SNDL always on the watch, of course, cannabis, in my opinion, in the next month could have good news coming in. Um, but however, I will only have SND on the watch for now until um, a good play comes into this one, because in my opinion, if we don't get news, like I said, we could see more of a sell off and it's very volatile. So I don't want to put too much money into this one yet until um, we do see more momentum. Now, another one I want to go over is BTX. Now, BTX, if you guys haven't seen BTX, um, we did talk about this one back around $5 um, a few weeks ago. Um, this one came up about over a thousand percent since then. Um, but I did not mention it throughout the weeks. I definitely didn't expect it to break out above $35, but it sure enough did. And we did have nice scout plays on BTX, but um, of course I couldn't post them on, the, on this channel yet at that time because it was too quick, of course, to post on the channel for a scout. But um, we do see that it came up all the way to around $60. We did have after hours movement to around $77. And then we had a huge sell-off right after that. So you know, right now we do have downward momentum on BTX on the short term, but in my opinion, if we do break over $78, we did break up to around $77 after hours. So if we could break over $78 going into after, I mean, going into Monday, then we may even see another play going into BTX, but definitely be careful because 
This one will sell off extremely fast when they do sell off. So it would be one of those in and out pretty quick plays if it did break over $78. Um, and again, be careful with these plays. Again, like I said, because it has came up quite a bit and BTX, in my opinion, will continue to stay on the watch. Um, and the last one I want to go over is Doge. Um, a lot of people have been asking about Doge, um, what might happen because they did have a nice spike going in after hours um, last night as well. So we do see that it is breaking resistances. Um, we have a very key resistance where we did sell off at around 36 cents. Um, and it looks like we did reach that point, but we need to break over 36.5 in my opinion. And if we break over 41 cents, then we could see a nice move going into um, around 60 cents. So we are gonna see if that does happen. We do see nice consolidation. We did have a sell off, but it looks like we did bounce back from our previous breakout point. Um, we could see exactly at that point we did uh, bounce back from, and that is exactly where um, we are gonna be checking to make sure it doesn't drop below. But however, like I said, we will see if we can break new highs in my opinion. Um, at this point in time, we could see another sell off. We could see it break out. So at this point, I would just wait um, to enter this one until it broke over 45 cents and gave us new highs. And at that point, it would be a very easy scalp, in my opinion, probably a nice 30 to 40 percent scalp um, if it did break new highs. So I would definitely have my alert set for new highs on Doge. I know a lot of people have been kind of watching it, but if you just set your alert, you will catch it on time if it does break new highs. Um, but if it did, if it was around here and consolidating and it was just barely breaking out, I'd probably say this would be a nice entry point. But however, it's already at this point. So if you guys have not entered, in my opinion, this is not a recommendation. This is what I'll be doing. Um, I would wait, be waiting for it to break over 45 cents till I did enter this one. But however, I hope you guys have been enjoying our breakfast with bulls. And tomorrow again our, our Sunday night countdown on a weekly watch list. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But again, if you guys do have a watch list, you guys have tickers, questions, throw it in the comment section. I love talking to you guys. And if you guys do like this video, it does help other people find these stocks and it does help the channel grow. And I appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.